Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Today we will be doing the performance testing of the new Pixel 9 Pro XL. So we have the new Pixel 9 Pro XL with us and let's uh, see the about device. So let's just go to the about device. So here we have the Pixel uh, 9 Pro XL and this is running on Android 14 out of the box and uh, you can see here this is the version Android 14 and uh, we are going to do the performance testing of this device so this device comes with the tensor g4 chip it's a 4 nanometer chip it's an octa-core processor and apart from that you get a lpddr5x ram and ufs 3.1 storage support on this device so we'll be doing the performance testing and then uh, we'll go to the stress test then we'll see the attitude benchmark and the geekbench test to see how good the uh, performance is so let's uh, first start off with the cpu throttling test so that's the test we're going to do uh, first so there you go so let's start the test so before that if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so this is the test we are starting for 58 percentage battery right now so let's start the test and uh, let's see how the throttling on this device is So now we have completed the throttling test and you can see here it's pretty bad in terms of throttling CPU throttled to 43% of its max performance so that's pretty intensive throttling actually and let's see the temperature after this test so 38 degrees that's the maximum temperature so temperature rise is not that uh, that much but uh, you can see that throttling is pretty bad on this device so 43 percentage of its max performance is the throttling next let's go to the stress test and you can now see that four percentage battery drop after the uh, cpu throttling test so it was 58 percentage now it's 54 percentage let's go to the stress test so next uh, let's go to the wildlife uh, extreme uh, stress test this is 3d mark uh, wildlife extreme uh, stress test so this is a 20 loop test and let's see how much battery drain happens and also the temperature rise which happens so now we have completed the wildlife extreme uh, stress test and you can see that uh, the stability is 69.6 percentage so the lowest uh, loop score is 1585 and the highest is 2278 so around 70 percentage stability on this device now you can see the stress test details the performance range and uh, the battery drop was from 53 percentage to 47 percentage so almost 6 percentage drop uh, in the testing 20 loops and temperature is 39 degrees starting at uh, it went up to 45 degrees and then uh, frame rate 6 to 18 fps so that's the wildlife extreme uh, stress test around uh, close to 70 percentage stability on this device next uh, let's go to the antitude benchmark test so this is the antitude benchmark value around uh, 12 lakh 1 11 lakh 98 thousand it's quite low actually uh, the tensor g4 uh, in fact uh, some uh, uh, there are uh, devices which has got almost close to 13 lakh but this is almost close to 12 lakh only 11 lakh 98 thousand and the individual scores you can see here 33 lakh uh, gpu is much lower compared to the uh, snapdragon 8 uh, gen 3 gpu values for snapdragon 8 gen 3 is almost close to 8 lakh here is only half almost uh, four and a half lakhs so that's the uh, antidote benchmark test around 12 lakh is the value and the uh, uh, storage test uh, this is a ufs 3.1 there's no ufs 4.0 this 3.1 and 98898 this is quite good actually uh, for a 3.1 device so that's the antidote benchmark test so here you can see that the temperature went to 44.2 degrees uh, while uh, testing so that's the antidote uh, test and finally let's go to the geekbench 6 test uh, you can see here 1955 is the geekbench test single core value and 4551 is the multi core score again it's not comparable to the snapdragon 8 gen 3 it's much lower than the snapdragon 8 gen 3 so that is the performance testing of uh, the uh, google uh, pixel uh, pixel 9 pro xl which is a tensor g4 chip so hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching 
hope to see you in our next video have a great day